Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Enjoying um, some Watch City slices in this little Orlick uh, pipe. It's become a favorite shop pipe of mine. I've said this before, the shop pipes are just ones that I don't have to think about. And they're comfortable and they smoke well. And they like burly. That's that's really the main requirements. So I got a couple announcements to make. I want to get to those right off the bat. Um, because the, well, the first one at least is very important. So this Saturday, uh, April 18th at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll be having a live stream and I will be doing a giveaway. This is a thank you to my subscribers uh, and I try to do it in a way where everyone can can, uh, can participate. Uh, I know there's always going to be an issue with the time time zones. I apologize for that, but 4 p.m. Eastern seems to be pretty reasonable for for most folks. So hopefully you'll be able to, to tune in and make it. Uh, the prize this time, prizes, uh, I, I think this is really a really pretty exciting set of prizes. This is a Series 3 uh, 7LE 122KS. So it is a bent pot. Um, nice big bowl. These pipes are fantastic. They th This shape is one of my favorites for Burley, uh, but it smokes everything really well. Uh, so this is the unfinished Series 3. This is from the Pipe Nook. Uh, I did not, uh, I, I purchased this from the Pipe Nook at full price, so this is not a promotion or anything. So I can tell you that the Pipe Nook is definitely some place you should be looking at for pipes because Eddie has some fantastic um, values on, on pipes. I mean, this this pipe, I'm, I'm amazed at how little this cost, and that's one of the reasons I'm able to give you a brand new unsmoked pipe as a, as a giveaway. So go check out the Pipe Nook. I'll put a link below. And I'll also put a link uh, below to the live stream giveaway so you can go over to that and get a notification for uh, for Saturday. Uh, in addition to the pipe, I'm going to be including a tin of this uh, new Cornell and Deal Carolina Red Flake with Marique. Uh, very interesting uh, blend. It, it, it is a Red Flake uh, Carolina is kind of Virginia-like. Uh, what is a Virginia? And the Perique, I can't actually see this, but I believe, I believe it's 18-year-old Perique. Um, I have opened a tin of this and smoked it. It's um, very smooth. If you don't like Perique, this might be a blend that you like, uh, just because the Perique is just so mellow. Uh, jury's still out on whether it's something I like, but that's a different story altogether. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new uh, small batch blend from Cornell and Deal, and I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you can smoke it out of this brand new... Uh, <laughs> 7 LE Series 3. So, tune in for the live stream on Saturday. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we'll do some sort of a trivia question to, to get a winner for, for those things. Uh, and we'll just chat about life in general. In addition, on Friday, uh, there's going to be a live stream. Uh, my normal Friday night live stream will be back uh, after uh, taking a break last Friday for, good, for the Good Friday holiday. And my guest will be the Artful Codger. So I've been very much looking for, forward to this since, uh, actually since I started doing the live streams. Uh, he, he was one of the first people to say he'd be happy to, to do it. And, uh, you know, getting him scheduled and everything, I'm, I'm very happy that it's finally going to happen this Saturday. So I hope you can tune in for that. Uh, it'll be Saturday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and I know that's not ideal for a lot of folks, but that is the best time I can do for the, for the Friday live streams. So I look forward to seeing you both Friday night and then uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, should be a lot of fun both uh, in both cases. The other announcement I've got to make, this is, this is really cool. I was honored to uh, be interviewed on the Pipe and Tamper podcast. Uh, and just today, April 15th, the, uh, the, Pipe and Tamper pod the new Pipe and Tamper podcast uh, was... was put up on the website, and uh, I actually haven't had a chance to listen to it yet myself, so I'm, I'm just going to, you know, going on what I remember about talking to uh, Mike, the host of the Pipe and Damper podcast. We had a great time. I really enjoyed talking to him. 
if you're not listening to the Pipe and Tamper podcast, you're listening, you're missing out because he does a really great job interviewing folks, and he's always got some interesting content. So I will put a link below to that as well. So you got a lot of links to to look at. You got the Pipe Nook, you got Saturday's live stream, you got Friday's live stream, and you got the Pipe and Tamper podcast. That should keep you busy for a while, and uh, God knows we're all looking for something to do these days. So hope you hope you can uh, take advantage of some of those and enjoy. So it's Wednesday again. Uh, it's it's been kind of strange, you know. I, I know we're all doing this uh, social social isolation thing, and oh, sorry, I just bumped the tripod there. Uh, you know, staying home and all that kind of stuff, and I'm starting to lose track of time. Uh, you know, the, the days just don't seem right to me because I'm not doing the things that I normally do, and it's hard for me to believe it's Wednesday. It seems like just a day or two ago I sat down here to make the last of the, these videos that I made, uh, yet here it is Wednesday. Time is going quickly, and uh, I guess that's a blessing in a sense, but it's a little disturbing as well. Continuing to uh, find ways to just sort of keep sane, focus on the normal. My wife and I um, subscribed to Acorn TV. Um, if you're familiar with BritBox, Acorn TV is a lot like that. It's, it shows from, from the UK. Um, the reason we did that is we got a free trial of it um, for a couple of weeks, and we started watching this series called, I think it's called Broken Wood, uh, which is sort of a detective thing where you know, there's a small town of Broken Wood, and uh, every week there's a murder, and <laughs> it's funny how these small towns always have a, a murder happening every week. Um, and you follow the detectives as they as they solve the murder. It's very well done. Uh, we like that kind of thing. I mean, one of my all-time favorite shows was Columbo. Uh, I talked last time about Perry Mason, or, or at some point I talked about Perry Mason. Uh, so yeah, this this kind of fits into that category. It's, it's it's a really well done series. So if you have Acorn TV and you haven't looked at it, uh, take a look. Otherwise, I'm not going to recommend you subscribe to Acorn just for that. But uh, maybe there's other things you'd like. Uh, because we're, you know, I'm not really, I, I know everybody's been watching this, uh, what is it, Tiger King, I think? And I tried watching that, you know, we have Netflix, uh, eh, it wasn't very good. Well, it was, it, I can see why people like it, but it just wasn't my thing. It's a little too crazy. So, we were happy to find, find this, and we're, we're on the second season, I think there's four seasons altogether. Very entertaining. Uh, been reading more than usual. Actually, I've been reading a lot of, uh, the last couple of days, a lot of scientific stuff for work. Um, not because I had to, but because I wanted to. Uh, just some, some stuff that I've been wanting to read for a long time and haven't had the chance to. So that's another real blessing in all of this, is that I'm finding time to do things that are important for my job, but yet I never seem to get to. So that, that's good. Uh, this weekend I'm going to try to do some outdoor work, uh, some gardening, not gardening, but like getting some beds ready. Uh, we've, we've got seeds uh, starting in the house, uh, and I, I actually am uh, trying to grow some burley this year. Uh, got some seeds from our friend uh, Tamper Tantrum. And uh, so far, I've only got three little sprouts, but that's okay. I was only planning on uh, planning on planting four plants because I didn't want to go crazy the first time. I just wanted to see what it was like. Uh, so if I only get three, I'm okay with that. And it's still early on in the process. I might get a, might get a couple more. So that's exciting. And what else do we got going? Uh, we got tomatoes whole beans, uh, yellow peppers, like banana peppers, some basil, 
We make, uh, my wife makes really good pesto, and that's why I got the basil. And I know I'm forgetting something in there, but anyway, you get the idea. Vegetables, oh, pickling cucumbers, because we like to make, uh, not canned pickles, but uh, refrigerator pickles. And we're also um, planning on putting in a butterfly garden this year, so that's something else i got to work on. i got to get the find out where we're going to put that and get the bed prepared for it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to just getting outside for a little while, even if it's just in the backyard. Problem is the temperature's dropped and it's been raining, so <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to actually get done. We'll see. I hope you all had a happy Easter. I hoped to make an Easter uh, video, but just it just didn't work out for me. Uh, just the timing and stuff. I decided it was better to spend the time with my wife cooking and just enjoying the holiday. So uh, we did that. Uh, we attended Mass on TV. Uh, actually went to Mass twice on <laughs> for Easter because I, uh, I like the traditional Latin Mass and... Uh, she likes to watch this mass from her uh, from her home uh, parish in Pittsburgh, so we, we did both of those. Uh, although honestly, she didn't really stick around much for the traditional Latin mass. And you know, going through the Triduum, you know, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, and thinking through all the things you think about during that time of year. Um, you know, just reflecting on suffering and different forms of suffering and, you know, what's currently happening in the world. And I came to the realization, and, and maybe this is no surprise to anyone, but, you know, it ain't that bad. We We are very fortunate. You know, you think about there are people that live the life that we're living as the normal. And, you know, there's people that are a lot worse off that are having to go through this crisis. So I, and I think most of my viewers, have a lot to be thankful for and grateful for. And, uh, you know, it's worth thinking about that. I, I, I'm not trying to be... Pollyanna-ish about it. I, I really do think that it's worth reflecting on because we do have a lot of benefits and a lot of um, just just things in our life that are of value to us that maybe are not monetary, maybe are not uh, material, but you know, good friends, good family. These are these are very very critical, and uh, I think at times like this we we can think about them or we can focus on them more. I know I've got several, both old friends and new friends that have been staying in touch by all kinds of means, you know, Skype and Instagram, um, just messaging back and forth on Instagram or text messaging. Um, I wish I had more time for everybody that, that wants to spend some time talking because it's very, very therapeutic uh, for me and, and probably for the other person. Not that I'm trying to say that I'm in any way a, a, a source of therapy, but, but I think just talking to someone is, is a good thing. Being able to sit down and light up a pipe and see someone else across from you lighting up a pipe, uh, even if they are on a screen, is, uh, is a good thing. And honestly, I hope this, I hope this continues. Yeah, you know, that's been one of my one of the things that I that I am grateful for in all of this is that I've gotten to to know some of the people that I kind of just casually knew in a better sense, and uh, you know, gotten to share some stuff with them, even to the extent of sharing some some tobacco and and, and things like that. Uh, yeah, it's been that's been really nice. So there is. Uh, I hate to say a silver lining, because again, I don't want to make this sound like I'm just trying to paint a pretty picture here. I, I really do think there's some good stuff going on right now.
And these Watch City slices have grown on me. I would say last Wednesday I was about to say, in fact I might have even said that I'm not going to order them again. That's changed. I do find that the way you pack them is important, at least for me. I have to, I don't rub them out, I just kind of crush them up and put them in. And when I do that, I get a much fuller burly flavor from them. When I rub them out, it's more like a, a Carter Hall kind of like topped, burly, um, very sweet. And, uh, you know, not that that's bad. I love Carter Hall, but it's, you know, why, why get Watch City Slices if it tastes like Carter Hall? But when they're just kind of pushed down in there, I'm afraid I'm getting to the bottom of the bowl here. When they're just kind of pushed down in there, it's, uh, it's a much fuller, fuller, meatier, burly experience. So I am enjoying these and I think uh, probably will buy some more. Well, friends, I, I'm out of things to, to ramble on for the week. Uh, hope you, you're having a good week and uh, wish you all the best in the remainder. Don't forget Friday night live stream, Saturday live stream giveaway. Check out the Pipe Nook. Check out the Pipe and Tamper podcast. Links to all those below. Go see Briar Report, briarreport.com, briarreport.org. Lots of good information there. If you need something to do, that's the place to find it. And you can find all of those things that I just mentioned on briarreport.org as well. So, take care. I'll see you all on Friday. And uh, just keep safe. Bye now.